Hi, this is Ashley Cheka, and today we're gonna take this basic makeup look and transform it into a leopard Halloween look that is appropriate for the office, easy to go trick-or-treating with your kids but still participate, or if you just need something easy for a party, this is gonna be the makeup look for you. So let's hop in to transform this makeup look into a leopard. First, we're gonna take off Chocolate Bar Hydromat. This way I can use my two-tone lips with lip scents and it's gonna last throughout the day. So then we are going to take a black eyeliner pencil. I am still very partial to this. You could use Onyx Shadow Scents as well, but this one is so good for on the waterline and I'm going to take it all the way across my eye to really give that cat eye look and then just add a slight little wing with it. You could also use our pen, which would be fantastic for this because you could use it for the whiskers too. Then we're gonna use Blackberry Lip Scents and just put it on the top of my lips so that way it starts the cat look and then whiskers are up next. So this is where my C personality can really overthink. So try not to let yourself overthink, but I'm using Onyx Shadow Scents to draw on the whiskers and to do my nose. So I have done this look before and I think drawing this little triangle on the tip of your nose is way more flattering than when you do it all the way across the like bottom of your nose. And then you do dots for the whisker or for the, what is those called? What are those called? Dot, like part of your whisker? I don't know what that is. Y'all know better than me. So with your whiskers, again, if you are like me and overthink everything, you can always come back in and take it off very easily before it sets. So then on the bottom lip, I'm gonna use Amber Spice Lip Scents because it's my favorite, but you can really use any like brown, red tone. You can really get away with a lot here. So next I'm going in with Onyx Shadow Scents on my forehead. So this is where you can really play. It does not need to be perfect. Let's say it again, because I'm talking to myself here. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're gonna do these little half egg looking things and then you can do Vs and kind of alternate that across your forehead area. And then I'm gonna use the Onyx Shadow Scents to just really deepen that cat look on the inner corner of my eyelid. And then we are going to come in with um, our fill-in shades. So this is where you can really experiment too if you wanted this to be more of a colorful look. I went more like standard animal, I guess, with sandstone pearl shimmer, uh, copper rose shimmer, I think those were the two shades that I ended up using. So I did that and I think putting it in there and then patting it made it a little bit easier to um, apply. But again, you can really play with this and build it up. Next, I'm going in with a little bit more um, on the outer corner just to deepen it up and give it like more of a dramatic cat eye uh, look or evening or smoky eye, whatever. And then we're gonna use Sandstone Pearl Shimmer to come in and highlight that brow bone and just really glam this up a little bit more. So this is where you can play with it depending on how deep, or maybe you're not going out at night. If you're not going out at night, you may not need it as dark, but because I was doing more of like a night Halloween look, I wanted it to be a little deeper. So now I'm using Sandstone Pearl in the inner corner and that's the final look, you guys. And just like that, you go from day to night or easy office makeup to wear, like I said, or anything if you're going to your kid's classroom party, this is a fun one, all the kids really like it, but it's also appropriate for around any age. I don't know, this one is a simple go-to for me, and I change it up every time. Try not to let yourself overthink it. I mean, you saw me like kind of erase a few areas that I made a mistake, whether using Cinegen's products, which you should because they're non-comedogenic and they're not, they have anti-aging, like, actual skincare in them. So when you're coloring on your face, you're not going to give yourself acne, but if you're not using our products, remember you can always cover anything up with your foundation and go back, erase a little bit and touch up. So try to have fun with your Halloween looks, but this is your easy, simple leopard look. Make sure you hit the subscribe and bell so you're notified when I upload more Halloween looks in the future. And let me know, are you gonna try this look in the comments below? And I'll also link everything in the description. I look forward to seeing you guys next time and see you next time. <laughs>